A person pulls on a rope attached to an initially motionless 25 kilogram box on a frictionless plane inclined 30 degrees to the horizontal. She pulls with a force of 20 newtons parallel to the plane of the ramp. Find the speed and position of the box after 5 seconds. This is a Newton's second law problem. We're given some information about the forces. We're going to find the net force from the net force and the mass, find its acceleration from the acceleration and whatever other information we were given about the initial conditions, we'll solve the kinematic equations. So to find the net force, the first thing we need to do is to take an inventory of all the forces, because we're going to add them together. It helps to use a free body diagram to do this. So here's our three main forces in the free body diagram. We've got the pulling force, F, which is parallel to the ramp. We've got the normal force from the ramp, which is perpendicular, pushing up on the ramp. And we have the weight of the box, which is vertically down. I'm showing this as W. Its magnitude, of course, is mg, m being the mass of the box, and g being the gravitational field. It's useful here to use what I like to call inclined coordinates instead of the plumb coordinates, which go vertical and horizontal. These inclined coordinates go parallel and perpendicular to the ramp. So sometimes it makes sense. In this case, we could do this with the vertical and horizontal coordinates. It'll just be easier to use the inclined coordinates, and easier is better, fewer chances to make mistakes. So in these inclined coordinates, the forces F and N are in only one of the cardinal directions. The force F is in the plus X direction, the force normal force is in the plus Y direction. It's the force of weight that's going to have components in both the X and Y directions. I need to point out here that I've put this angle theta as this angle of this particular right triangle. I'm claiming that this angle theta is the same angle theta here, which is 30 degrees um, of the ramp with respect to the horizontal. And here we're showing this is the angle between the y direction and the vertical. How can we believe that these are the same angle? The geometry is pretty straightforward. We'll show it here. Here I'm showing the angle theta as being the angle between the ramp and the horizontal. Drop a vertical perpendicular to the horizontal, and now we have these angles theta and make the new angle phi. Theta and phi are going to be complementary. They'll add up to 90 degrees. We can see that because the straight line is 180 degrees. Theta and phi plus 90 degrees add up to 180 degrees, so theta and phi must add up to 90 degrees. This angle here must be the same as theta because both of them are 90 degrees minus phi. So it's a Newton's second law problem. We find the net force, divide by the mass to find the acceleration. What we'll do now is find what all these components of forces are in this particular coordinate system. Force F, we've already said, is just an x component plus 20 newtons in the plus x direction. The y component is zero. The force of weight, well we have the weight in the x direction. Notice this is minus mg sine theta. Well, we know it's minus just by looking at it. We can see that it's in the negative x direction. From this right triangle, we see that the hypotenuse is the mg, the weight. The sine of angle theta is w sub x over mg, so therefore w sub x equals mg sine theta. There you go, negative mg sine theta. By the same reasoning, for the y component, this w sub y is the adjacent face to the angle theta, so cosine of theta equals w sub y over w, and w sub y therefore is w cosine theta, which is what we have here, minus mg cosine theta. The net force then, at least the x component of the net force, is 20 newtons minus mg sine theta plus zero. The y component of the net force is minus mg cosine theta plus n. Now this turns out to be zero because the box is not accelerating in the y direction. So we then know that this magnitude n is just mg cosine theta. Turns out we don't need that for this problem, but that's something that we know. What we need for this problem is to find the x component of the net force, because that is going to be the full net force acting on this box, which we can then use to find the acceleration. We know everything here. We know m, we know g, and we know a theta, so we can figure out everything. So we just plug it in. 20 newtons minus m is 25 kilograms, g 9.8 newtons per kilogram, sine of 30 degrees is just one half, 
So we get 20 newtons minus 122.5 newtons equals minus 102.5 newtons. What does the minus mean? It means that the net force is actually downhill. It's in the negative x direction. The x component of the weight of the box is greater than the pulling force applied by the person. So although the person is pulling up the ramp, the box is still sliding down the ramp and the person is actually going to have to run after the box to keep pulling. The acceleration is just this force divided by the mass. We do the math and we get minus 4.1 meters per second per second. The minus again means that it's accelerating downhill. Notice that this magnitude is a little less than half of g, which is 9.8 meters per second per second. That makes sense. It would be exactly half if it were just sliding down a frictionless ramp at 30 degrees. And it's a little less than one half because of the person's pulling force up is trying to keep the box from sliding down the hill, though it's not succeeding. So now, for just kinematics, we find the speed after five seconds. There are equation, uh, constant acceleration equation, v naught plus delta v, delta v from the constant acceleration equation is going to be a delta t. So the speed v is zero plus a delta t, or just to say the speed v is a delta t. Plug it in, a is minus 4.1 meters per second squared. Time is five seconds. So we get an answer of minus 20.5 meters per second which means 20.5 meters per second down the ramp. Position, we find in the same way, just using the position equation instead of the velocity equation. The position equation, delta x equals v naught t plus 1 half at squared. Well, v naught is zero, so this first term just goes away. The 1 half at squared, we can just plug in the numbers, minus 4.1 meters per second squared for a, five seconds for t, and we end up with minus 51.25 meters, or the thing has slid downhill 51.25 meters in five seconds. The person who's providing that pulling force up the ramp really has to be running pretty fast downhill at this point to uh, continue applying this force.